It's been great. I agree. Oh, maybe I should start my game, huh? I'm like, why is my screen black? That's because I want to launch the game. <laughs> so I think the four people... Oh, we went down to two. We. I think it's just me and you. I don't know. I don't know well, if you count as a viewer. Yeah, you always have to check for that because there's bots a lot of times. Oh, oh so, okay. So uh, it's not always actual people. I found that out when I was doing my stream for Briganzine on the on the on the Switch. Ah, okay. All right, so we should be back here. It shows yep, that we're, my, looking good. we're looking like we're up. We're yeah. we're looking good. And it's looking like my stream quality is excellent. So we're gonna oh, okay. yeah, it stays like that. All right, so Marcel Zion, extends point three two thirteen. Hopefully, FJ comes back. I, I hope he doesn't feel like we just kicked him. I'm sure he understands. No. I'm sure he does too. Yeah, that sucks so much because I had found that job in March and uh, that was a nice job and everything. And I was like, finally, I found a job. I can go ahead and buy, you know, a brand new computer that I need and everything. And then we get that email saying, hey, guys, we lost the bid for the contract renewal. So we're going to be without wow. a job in six months. And I'm like, God, yeah. three weeks in, it, it really sucked. And, you know, well, my, if you. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, if you get to a point where you feel like uh, you know you're you're getting a pretty good flow of money coming in, and you want to build a new computer, let me know what your build's going to be, and uh, because I'm in the market for one myself, and uh, I just un uncertain about what my build should be, and what's going to be ideal for streaming and producing content and that kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, I'll let you know. It's uh, it, it just sucks, you know. Yeah, I understand. So and you know, my girlfriend and I, I have plans that you know we want to we want to move. So <laughs> that kind of uh, that and COVID kind of put that on the back burner a little bit. Do you want to move somewhere close to where you are now or really yeah. far away? No, no, no. We want to stay here. The The kid's dad is, uh, you know, lives nearby. And, you know, my girlfriend's parents are nearby as well. She's close to her family and everything. So I just uh, just in a bigger house, really. And oh, a, okay. a house that's not built as weird as this one. That I, I've never seen a house built like that. It looks like the, the guy that was uh, the, that designed it was drunk or something. Oh. He was hanging out with uh, Coach Leg One. Yeah, I, see. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so Charlie <laughs> Simmer, Golden in Assist, that's pretty good. Uh, Bussy uh, goes in nine straight, that's pretty good. And uh, Peter Inasak got uh, four assists, that's pretty good as well. Wow, Philly, Philly lost to Toronto eight to one. Yeah, they sure did. Toronto was so lousy at yeah, this they time. Were. Oh. They sure were. All right, so we're playing against the Orders for the third time. I I was hoping that we were only playing them twice. Fingers crossed. I know, right? So it's 1-1. Um, yeah. one, one. We did win 7-3, so we took it to them, but we're playing in mm -hmm. their barn now, so it might be different. We're still seven right. points out of Montreal, so they're still losing at our pace. That's good. All right, so Marian Stashny is back in. Krushelinski... All right, eleven lane five uh, five fires. He's in there. Grand Fear is not doing too great with that over there. So, no, he certainly think. isn't. Uh, we lost four two. Mm. Can't uh, can't win. I think them we all. outplayed him. I think we did pretty well, but we just didn't get the W. Yep. Paul Coffey, a goal and an assist. Oh, La, uh, Rick Lapointe, two goals. He scored both of our goals there. Not known for his offense much, too. Oh, I'm sorry. They outshot us by 10. And yeah, so Edmonton did. Edmonton probably got the edge overall in the game. Yeah. Looks like it. Now we're yeah. heading to Vancouver. Hopefully we can win that one. 
Uh, Gretzky had two assists against us, so his streak continues. And we have Brian Bellows, who's still doing good with an assist. Then McDonald in Pittsburgh is not suspended. Alright, Vancouver were 1-1 one one against the Canucks. Dear God, we lost to them. Look at that, 19-38-3. and three. Oh, Buffalo passed uh, Montreal in the standings they, again. Yeah. They have a game in hand. Yeah, that's why they have the same amount of points. So, 70 mm -hmm. net. Oh, Frank Capra is in net for them. All right, we won. That's good. 3-1. Yeah. Good game good, good. there. 35-21 for the shot, so that's good. Randy Muller, mm -hmm. we haven't seen his name too much. Two assists. Graydon got an assist, and uh, Peter Stashny got a goal. All right, we scored all of our goals in the first there, so Anton hit uh, 20 from Smith. And uh, okay, that point, then Gude and Stashny from Randy Muller each. That's good. All right. A win is a win. We were out hit, but 34 to 12 in that game. I think that's just evidence that we had the puck all day. Yep, that's what it looks like. Suspension for Vancouver's Tony Tenty. Seven games. Gretzky got a goal and an assist. Marcel Zion, point streak of 15. Charlie Simmers, assist streak, ended at 10 games. Brian Bellows extends his point streak to 17. Gilafer played in his thousandth game and got an assist against the Jets. The one Canadian I actually like, Guy Lafleur. Good old Guy Lafleur. Mm -hmm. Brad Park, 900 points in his career. With a goal against the Hawks. I wonder if the Hawks are going to change their team name now. Uh, yeah, with the with the Cleveland Indians, yeah, you know, losing the Indians. I have a take on that, but I'll, I think I'll let that one simmer. I'll just I'll <laughs> leave that out. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to touch it right now. I'll leave it alone. Yeah, it can be a touchy subject. I just think that if they remove all Native American imagery. I think they'd be fine. I think that's that's the problem right there. And it's going to be very difficult for the Blackhawks because that's literally the their logo. So, you know, yeah, you they would have do? to change their logo and their name. Yep. Complete overhaul. So, yep. All right, uh, look at that. We're playing the Kings again. All right, Kings are 25, uh, 29, 25, and 8. So, yeah, we need to beat them. We're only 5 points ahead of Buffalo now. That lead is melting a little bit. Mm -hmm. We need a win. Yeah, so we have Reggie back in net, Bob Janicek back in net for the Kings. <sighs> we lost 6-4. No, we needed a W here. Emlyn's losing his heat. Too, yes, so that's it is. Even so worse. Thirty-five, thirty-one. The shots for us. So we looks like we played better than them. We, but so Redman a goal and an assist. Uh, Peter Stash need two assists and Zufo two assists. Oh, that's the guy we traded them. Yeah, we traded. Yep, we traded the do four. Look at that! Look at that! He has almost thirty assists. Wow. Krasinski got an assist. But Rick Lapointe hasn't had a bad season. It's just, it is what it is. Yep. Oh, we lost Sauve. At least it's not. Well, that's uh, why stashing. we got that forward death. So. Yeah, for seven days. Okay, I can deal with that. Hey, FJ, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I had a. Uh, some issues with my stream. I restarted everything. Everything looks fine for now. I just need a. Uh, I just need to find a, a bag of uh, gold bullions in the walls in my house here, so I can get a new uh, a new computer and move and everything. Search, look through those couch couch cushions. I know, right? 
well, the, I know I'm not going to find gold bullions in the couch cushions because that couch is mine, and I know for sure that there's not a <laughs> bullion in there. <laughs> I've checked it enough. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so should I put him on the... Uh, for seven days, I think I'm just going to leave him on the lineup. I think I think that's the right thing to do. Because it's, even if it's seven days, he might come back a little bit early as right. a yellow cross, and yeah. he might be able to play. So yeah. I think I'm going to keep him. We have a good trainer, too, so he may come back early. So you never yeah. know. Denis Savard extends his point streak to 12 games, two goals and an assist. Kent Nilsson, point streak of 12. Gretzky, a goal and an assist. He doesn't have like five and six point games like he would need to reach, you know, the mm -hmm. level that he had that year. Yes, yes. He's definitely off the pace. Yeah, Brian Bellows is having a pretty good season. A hat trick here. That's 19 straight games with a point. Yep. 86 point in 63 games. That's pretty good. And I'm not going to care about this. Not right Usually, now. as a general rule, I don't put guys on the injured list unless they're, unless they're projected to miss a couple weeks. Yeah, it's so, usually so. same for me, too. Uh, if it says one to two weeks is when I put them on the injured reserve. Yeah, yeah something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the computer, something that really annoys me is sometimes the computer keeps on their lineup a guy that's hurt for four months. And I'm like, why? Why do you do that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, can't it's just, them. you know, they're going to have to work on it over a period of time and try to get all those kinks out. And, yep. Oh. So, the rat got four assists. Ken Linsman. That was his nickname, right? The rat? Yeah, the rat. Mm -hmm. That's right. He looked like one when his hair would be messed up. And yeah, he looked like a rat, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I remember him. I just don't remember exactly what he looked like. Yeah, I, I have old scouting reports books from the 80s that show player photographs and everything. And I would just leaf through them. And I said, why is this guy called the rat? And I looked at his picture and I thought, all right, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I'm very far away from getting affiliate. That's uh, that's not even uh, close to be happening right now. I haven't streamed a lot because I have computer problems. Uh, that's the problem is I, if I do something, I want to put quality, well, relative quality out i i mean mm -hmm. i don't usually edit my videos because I, I prefer to have it like as my first take that's me i think when you start cutting content sometimes you can cut things that people might want to see so i personally yeah. don't like to do that look at that mckegney 12 uh 12 games wow. or point mckegney turned his game around with the Oilers. Yeah, but yeah, I only have uh, eight followers here on the, on Twitch. Uh, I gained a few when I, I did a, I did I streamed a, a Warhammer game. It wasn't very good, but I you know I streamed it until I beat it, and then I did the I started to do the same with Brigandzine Legend of Runercia because Brigandzine are some of my favorite games, uh, but I had to switch to just recording halfway through because I was having problems with my stream every single time and it, uh, like the the image was really bad and I hated it. Oh man, yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think McKegney's on Gretzky's line, but he, you know, you never yeah, know. You never know. So, what, uh, what do you stream, FJ? Usually, do you stream like uh, games like that, or do you stream something different? And as you type that, we're gonna go ahead and play the Flyers. All right, so Patterson's moving to center here, and he's going to play with Marian Stashny and Krushevinsky. Uh, Bob Freeze in that. We're going to have Regina Lemelay. We need for Lemelay to have a good game here. We lost 5-4. That challenge might not happen. 
or us winning it might not happen. Well, so. they're going to make it as hard for us as they can, so yeah. I'm expecting this. All right, we were outshot by the Flyers. Tuckett, two goals and an assist. Rick Lapointe again, two assists, and Brian Propp, a goal and an assist here. Look at that. Do you see do you see that? Oh, did I lose you here for a second? Looks like I might. Well, the Quebec Nordiques are up two points on the Buffalo Sabres anymore. That's cool. Yeah, that's kind of my mentality as well. Um, I want to stream whatever I find interesting too. I'm usually drawn more towards either like sports simulations like that or games that are maybe a little bit more indie, I guess. Like I'm not going to be streaming cyberpunk or, you know, whatever. The red light stays on for Pierre Aubry. Yeah, I guess Joseph muted his microphone in um, in Discord. So Denis Savard extends his point streak to 13 games. A goal and an assist here against St. Louis. Denis Savard, the height of his career, a five-star player. Pero three goals and an assist, pretty good. All right, so uh, we have a couple days here before Boston is in town. We've been losing game. Oh god, we lost the lead. We lost the lead in the division. Chicago's Fraser is suspended. Okay. Uh, Savard had a goal, so yeah, he's on a streak. Uh, Zion had an assist. Paul Coffey, four assists. Gretzky, two goals. McKinney, a goal and two assists. Why couldn't you do that with me? Oh, there's been a trade here between the Flames and the Kings. Paul Baxter and Dave Rearson are going to the Kings for Phil Sykes and Brian Wilkes. That's a very minor trade. Right yeah. I thought I lost you for a second, but you just muted your microphone, did you? Yeah, I had to take a break. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. I, just, I, uh, I thought I was having more issues with my stuff. <laughs> no, no. No, we're fine. No, we're not, because look at that. We've lost the lead. Well... We're we're doing okay. I mean, we're just we're just on a little bit of a downswing. It appears yeah. that Glenn Sather thinks more of Tony McKegney than the Tiger does. So. Yep. All right. So Boston is in town. So Boston never really turned that season around. It's starting to be a little late for them to do that. Yeah, they sh they had a terrible season by their standards. Yeah, so. sixteen thirty seven and nine. We are four zero oh, and one against the Bruins. A win here would really help with our confidence. So Reggie Lamley only has two fires left. Pete Peters and net for the Bruins. All right, that's what we needed. A 7-2, a good old 7-2 beating wow. to put us back where we needed. 52-21 the shots. There you go. That's what we needed. Right, Boston's Bruins. just terrible. I, I just know. can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, I guess it's too early for me to go get Curtis Lissishin, right? <laughs> Man, I had a I had such a hard time as a kid uh, uh, writing that name down. It's uh that was challenging for a French Canadian, you know, little guy to write down to try to figure out how you spell Curtis. Well, Curtis was fine, but Lissishin mm -hmm. was a little bit more difficult. And then he played for the Sands. I'm like, "Oh my god." All right, so Bruce Bell had a hat trick. That's good. Three goals and assists. Gouda a goal and an assist. Tashni two assists. So the big guys had... Oh, natural hat trick for Bruce Bell, too. Look at that. And Krushelinski 
uh, assisted on one of them. All right, so Not good bad game. for a 19-year-old defenseman. Yep. Uh-oh. Ouch. All right, that's it for how long. Oh, that's okay. One to two weeks. I suppose we can go ahead and... Uh, we have to put him on intra reserve. Yep. Yeah, call somebody up. But uh, at least it's not six months. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right, big game for Bruce Bell. We saw that. No further discipline for Buffalo's Mike Ramsey. Ron Francis. Gretzky. Speaking of things being all about the name, we can get Pac-Man back into the lineup. That's right. We're on the roster. <laughs> yep. Oh, the Waiters lost. Uh, uh, the Devils, sorry, uh, lost Pat Verbeek. For Five the rest months. Of the year. Yep. Yeah, he's CYR. gone. And Sove's fine, so I'm losing one, and the other one comes back. All right, let's put you on the injured reserve. Let's see who we are getting back up. Savard, yeah, we did. We saw that Pac-Man is better than Andre Savard, actually. So it's and close. We have but, yeah. Man and then Garland. Yeah, I think we're gonna get Pac-Man back up. All right, so, uh, and we have a couple days off here before we play in Winnipeg. Winnipeg's had a good season thus yep. far. Forty wins. The necessarily strong game at trick. Denis Savar also doing pretty good. A goal into a. I'll look that up for you, FJ. Let's see. Uh, Wakaluk Wakaluk didn't come up till 1988. Good night to remember for Kelly Kisio playing for the Wings. Had a trick. Good game for Rick Vive. Hat trick, three goals. No stopping Cam Neely. Hat trick three goals. Playing for the Vancouver Canucks. Susp suspension over for Scott Arneal. Trade deadline is nearing, so that's the time where we go ahead and. Picking Gretzky up, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure where I would slot him, really. Yeah, fourth line, third line, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so is there somewhere that we want to get better? You know, to be perfectly honest with you, the way I play this game, I don't do much at the trading deadline. I usually have my team formed out on opening day, and I just go with them throughout the season. Um, unless I have a major injury. Which we really don't have, right? Uh, I think we look good. Um, I think so too. I mean, the record's there to back it up. So yes, yes. Sadly, Buffalo also won uh, their last game. I'm reluctant to trade anybody on the roster right now. Trade anybody away. I know. I, I think I think we have a solid thing going for us, and. And uh, yeah, I'm perfectly content. But if there's something you want to do, let's uh, let's work on it. Let's I'd... see if we can make it happen. Um, I I think I'm okay. It was more for the general, uh, just asking around for opinions. Mm -hmm. That's just me trying to you know get the people watching me to get into the game as well but yeah that i mean i'm up for suggestions always although i'm pretty proud of that trade that i made in my tempo be save getting mcgillney <laughs> was pretty cool I, after failing uh, for half an hour to try to get Eric desjardins i went for you know yep. it, it I was so wrong. I was watching that video, and I was looking at you constantly shoving that 11th rounder in there, and I'm like, that's not going to do anything. That's not happening. And it happened, and I was just like, wow, okay. That's I because, guess that's, that mattered. That's because I've noticed that the game tends to uh, 
value the draft picks almost all the same. <laughs> so, like, uh, 11th or a third, the computer values them almost exactly the same. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I didn't know either because last year I played with no draft picks, right? I You know, all of my videos were with the rookies entering the teams that they joined in real life. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was, as I was doing trades and everything, I realized that, you know, yeah, you can tr like you can put a third rounder or a seventh rounder and like the, the, the scale never seems to tip into one way or another. So I was like, I'll try with the 11th. I mean, I'm just going to game the system here. Yeah, I did. Well, you did mention it was kind of like cheating. And I yeah. thought, wow, I guess the game really has kind of a bug there. So, is there any random players who were never superstars that you always had a soft spot for? Oh, always. All the LA Kings I had a soft spot for. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, we, you know, what are we going to do with that? I, I don't know. I don't. None that I would think to acquire at this point. Well, I think. Oh, yeah, I guess he's uh, asking for. Ah, uh, yeah, he's just asking in general. That's what I thought. Uh, for mm -hmm. me, that uh, that would be probably Anton Volchenkov. I really like that guy with on the sense. I saw him trip and take a slap shot from Yevgeny Malkin in the forehead, and he came back next game after that. So, <laughs> um, all right, we looked at those. I don't want them. We're playing Winnipeg. We're in Winnipeg. They are 40, 21, and 6. Um, and we did win against them 5-3 earlier this season. Was it Marc-Andre Pouliot or Marc-Antoine Pouliot? I think it was Marc-Antoine, right? And we have Reggie Lemelin in net, and Brian Award is going to be in net for the Jets here. Brian Award completely on fire. It could be Marcante. I might be. I might be wrong. Just to touch on what you talked about, FJ, as far as uh, guys who were never superstars. I was talking to ARG earlier before the stream, and uh, I mentioned Wayne Simmons. He was my favorite player on the Kings before they traded him, and I don't think he's a superstar, but he's a guy I love and. It just, he fills that, that role so spectacularly where he can score a few goals. He could, he's tough. He, uh, he'll do whatever the coach asks. He's got a great attitude. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was Mark Antoine. And meanwhile, we beat the Jets 8-4. to four, So Jets have a very similar record to us, actually. They only played two more games than us, and it, those are two losses. But very similar record to ours. And we have Stashny with a hat trick, Michel Goulet a goal and three assists, and Mario Marwa two assists. Pretty good game, 40 24 the shots in our favor. So, all in all, it was a pretty good game. Stashny scored his 25th, 26th, and 27th goal. Ooh, that's, that was a busy third period. Mm hmm. Yeah, that that's what I thought. That maybe you were mixing up uh, with Marc Andre Bergeron, who was a guy that uh, a defenseman that could not defend for sa saving his life, but he had one heck of a shot from the point. So that guy could run a power play, but that was about it. <laughs> uh oh, another injuries. Anton Stashny is hurt now. Hmm. Two to three months, so we're going to be without Anton Stashny for the rest of yeah. this year. Uh. Ouch. Oh, the game is really trying to make us not be able to do this. Uh. Yeah, you know, when you're down the stretch in FHM, the injuries start coming, and they generally do. So. All right. We're going to need to take care of that. All right, uh, who do we call back now? Mm -hmm. Do we get Jimmy wow. Mann, the, the tough guy? 
look at that he, he's aggressive and a fighter and he is so we could get him for yeah. the fourth line or there's that garland guy well with man he's definitely a fourth liner like you won't see you won't you won't see a guy who's a third or second line caliber player being put on the fourth line man will go there he'll fill that role yeah so i think you're i think you're right so that makes sense yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of a uh, Tory Crew, but a uh, much lesser version than Tory Crew. Yeah, Mark Andre Bergeron. Man, he he had a really good shot. He really did. But okay, all right. So uh, Jimmy Man wants eight. I already gave it to your forty-eight. And Marc Andre Bergeron was not a big player, and it always amazed me how he would just like have that incredible shot. It it kind of reminded me like uh, Pedro Martinez in baseball. Like he wasn't a really yeah. big guy already in his career, but he could really pitch really hard. But he was mm -hmm. like that tiny little guy. <laughs> I always found that amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Pedro Martinez pitched like he had a running start, and. Uh... Yeah, it's quite am quite am amazing to see the Dodgers because I remember him coming up with the Dodgers and they just didn't think he had the uh, size to be a starter like he would wear down. He was too thin, too small. But he obviously had a had more than they thought he did. Yep. Oh, so we beat the Flames five to four in overtime. We'll take it. It's a W. And Jimmy Mann played on the third line, by the way. Paul Gillis oh, was did he? yeah. Paul Gillis uh, was playing on the fourth line instead. Okay, all right. Makes sense. I don't. Uh, Paul Gillis, uh, third or fourth line. I don't really mind. Uh, yeah. Thirty-five, twenty-nine. The shots for us. Um, Paul Gillis scored. Okay. Krasinski scored on the power play. Look at that. All right. Wow, Gillis had two points. He had a goal and an assist. Yeah, we're four points up on the Sabers, but they have a game on on. Do we play? Oh yeah, we play them twice. That I can see here on the schedule. Those are going to be vital mm -hmm. games. Kent Nilsson, 17 straight games with a point against us. Gretzky had a goal and four assists. That's a little bit more what I expect from Wayne. Right. Yeah. And Tony McKegney, 15, two goals. <laughs> <laughs> McKegney, he, he's like, how do you like me now? I mean, <laughs> I know, I right? Partners in game, and I don't know what makes me. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think part of it is because their defensive uh, shortcomings were not as evident in juniors and everything. And then when they kind of climb uh, into the ranks, it's just not good enough, and that's all they know. There's some players that have been able to move from the wing to the D, to D and you know back and forth. Of course, Brent Burns was one of them. Uh, I think Sammy Kapanen mm -hmm. started as a defenseman before being put on uh, at forward yeah. because he wasn't a super big defender. Former so. Nordique, Scott Young, was a defenseman. Oh Before really? I, I did forward. not know that. Yeah. Yeah, he was a he was college he was a college defenseman, so he moved up to forward and when he got to the pros. I add trick for Gretzky. Mark Pisick, what he was a forward and moved to D or did he just recently move to forward? Because I know he was a defenseman in Buffalo. Oh, there's been a trade between the Flames and the Blues. And Thomas Steen is hurt. He's out for the rest of the season. Oh, oh wow. Look at that big trade. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, I love that. So Gary Suter <laughs> goes to St. Louis for Bernie Federko. Wow. Uh, I don't think Suter is a Hall of Famer, is he? I don't believe so. 
he had a good career. Yeah, he was very good. But that's a pretty that's a good deal. That's a good even deal. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, I like uh, I like that deal yeah, a lot. Just like I like the Pavel Bury for a Luke Robitaille trade in my. I like when a computer makes a yeah. big big trade. Denis Savar out three weeks. That's gonna sting for the Hawks. Steve Larmer did have a pretty good game, five points. Oh, looks like Savar had four goals before he got injured. <laughs> Right. Trade deadline is near. I think we decided we're not gonna move here. Our injury. Uh, it sucked to have lost Anton Stashny. Did we change our mind with losing Anton Stashny? I, I just don't know what we have to give in a trade. We have a first rounder. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, are we gonna cheat the system? Are we gonna do that? <laughs> I mean, it is a challenge, so everything's fair game, right? Well, you know, all's fair in love and war, so I don't know. I know. Who do, would uh, we target? Maybe a left wing? <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't do it, but, you know, it's it, it, it's tempting. It's tempting. Oh, sure. I, could, uh, I could help my cause by getting Gilbert Perrault from the Buffalo Sabres that are chasing me for a first-round draft pick that's going oh to be useless oh for them. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, boy. I don't like to do that. Denis Savard said that with the Nordic speak that they gave up in the expansion draft. Yep, and uh, Montreal went for Doug Wickenhauser. That's always been the story about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. Ch I'm not gonna do it, but I just want to see if maybe they would, if they would consider it, just, just for fun. Right. Okay. Oops. Well, yeah, that's something that I noticed in my str uh, not stream, but in my uh, latest video with Tampa Bay. Yes. If you just put a draft pick, the your scout doesn't say anything. Yeah, it's strange. I don't know why. Um, maybe if you put a player and then replaced it with a draft pick, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, they're not taking that. Yeah. That would have been funny, though. Like, if you want to uh, beat the system, you just go after the team that's uh, <laughs> that's following you, and you trade them. Yeah. You use less assets. Yeah. Right. I see a lot of guys doing challenges, and they're trading draft picks, and and they're assigning a bunch of free agents and using them for trades. And it's just, I almost think that's cheating. I I, I don't know. You wouldn't see that happen in real life. I don't think. So. Nah, I, I tried to not cheat when I made that trade for McGillney. I was just getting a little bit fed up with trying to make a trade work. <laughs> no, that was fine. I mean, so, he was on the block. I, know. I mean, you know. All right. It happened. So Buffalo is two points behind. We're going to be playing against the North Stars. We did lose a game against them. I don't think I'm going to make a trade. I don't know who to get on the left wing. That would be... Like a yeah, decent player, but like Brian Prop would be too uh, expensive. Maybe check on the block, huh? How about that? Mm -hmm. For an idea. <laughs> FJ, I like to build my teams through the draft too. It's a oh, lot of fun. Me too. Me too. Of course. Or try to pry young players away from their team or something. Yes. You know, get yes. them before. Stack the draft picks up and build that way. Yeah, it's pretty thin on the... Let's just keep what we have. Yeah, yeah. It was a little too thin there. All right, so Minnesota is going to be in town. Still playing for 500 there. They just cannot get over that hump. They are 33, 33, and 3 now. Like, every time we've played them, they've been 500. Mm -hmm. Don Beaupre in net, Reggie Lemelin for us. Oh, yeah, 6-1 win. Look at that. Yeah. A good home game. We yep. did well. 28-23 to show, so we, we didn't, like, shoot a million times, too. Boy, Paul Gillis, really impressing in the time that he's been up on the lineup. Yep. 
Salming, a goal and two assists, that's good. La Pointe, yep. uh, so Rick La Pointe has been uh, heating up lately. Marianne mm -hmm. Stashny got an assist. Alright. So yeah, uh, FJ, you weren't there, but my my next streaming endeavor, I'm going to start a random debut. I'm going to have Joseph here help me with the initial draft. We're going to put both of our, of our hockey knowledges together. And I'm going to do a random debut and I'm going to play that for a while. See what we can do. Uh, changes the game a little bit when you don't exactly know what's going to be in the draft coming. I mean, when you play okay. historical, you can always check and, oh, yeah, you know, Chris Pranger is going to be available uh, in the first round or something like that. You just don't know. So it's going to be pretty interesting, I think. It should be a lot of fun. I think that's something where we, you would scout the heck out of Canada and uh, and go from there. <laughs> yeah. FJ, if we, uh, if we win this... Uh, that's going to be thanks to you too because we went and got uh, Christian. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see uh, his stats with us since we got him. Hey, that's not bad. Eight points in 15 games. I mean, he's playing mostly on the fourth line. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. Yeah. Less than 10 minutes game. So that's sufficient. Yeah, absolutely. Making uh, every second that he plays count. All right, so we're playing the Jets again. They just lost Thomas Steen for a while. Uh, they are 41, 24, and 6 now, so definitely can beat them again. They are 2-0. and oh. I actually think he's off the fourth line now. Right, we're going to see here in just a second. Yeah, back four points up on the Buffalo Sabres. We can do this. We can do this. We believe in you. Yeah, Kroshansky is now on the fourth, uh, third with Smith and Marian Stashny. Mac Mark Berend in net for the Jets. We're going with Reggie Lemelin. Oh, we lost that one, 43. The Jets are a good team this year, but still hurts to lose. Oh, God. We got robbed by their goaltender, 47 Yeah, we should have lost that. Yeah. All right, Doug Smale, Peter Stashny, and Dale Awarchuk have the stars. <laughs> Krushansky overtime winner in Game 7 to win the Cup. If we get to Game 7 with the Edmonton Oilers, uh, I'll be thankful. Uh, either way. And if Krushansky scores the overtime winner in Game 7 against the Oilers, uh, while Tony McKegney finally doesn't get a point, that would be, uh, that would be pretty good. Uh, Paul Coffey is art, but only for four days, so that's a little bit uh, inconsequential for them. And a goal and two assists for Gretzky. So Gretzky has eaten up here in the in this particular stream. I think we may have jinxed it, giving uh, Lemline credit for the season a little, a little too early because he's yeah. he's dropped off a bit since. Yeah, me and my big mouth. All right. Zion, uh, three assists. Charlie Simmer, three goals and an assist. Carbono not suspended. Brian Bellows got an assist. Nice little season for Brian Bellows. A triple crown line for the Kings is getting it done as usual. Yeah, there were definitely. Um, franchises uh dynasties back then don't really see that anymore oh wolf samuelson is hurt for the waiters out for the season so he cannot uh add on to or knee on to any of my players which is good oh little game for ron francis seven assists wow <laughs> look at that yeah, four assists for Sultan and Sylvain Turgeon had five goals and an assist. Ah, look at that. My goodness. Yeah, you don't see many games like that anymore. I mean, Sam Gagne did get an eight-point game a few years back. But, uh, yeah, you don't see those very often anymore. I'd love to do a historical challenge involving 
Hartford starting in about 1980, like when they came in the league. It'd be great to see Ron Francis and those guys develop. Yeah, and you know, a lot of fun. Get surround them with better players and everything. Right. Yeah. Right in Boston. Yeah, still struggling in Boston. It's a, a season to forget. There's only the Rangers in the in the Wales Conference. Sorry, that are mm -hmm. uh, worse than them. All right, so. Ruzhensky, Smith, and Marian Stashny still on that third line. All right, Reggie Lamelaine and Ned Pete Peters for them. Oh, we just lost our first game of the season against Boston. Lost 5 3. So that's two losses in a row here. Uh, is it? Oh. The last game was against Winnipeg, right? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, and Lumlam was terrible in that game. He wasn't as bad in this game, but still not good. Yeah. Louis Slager, over 20 goals. Silver linings, I suppose. <laughs> Peter Sidorkovic, the Whaler and Ottawa Senator. He was the original Senator's goalie. Yep. Rick Middleton scored 400 goals in his career. Two goals against us. Louis Slager scored in five straight. That's good. Mm -hmm. And Alain Lemieux sus suspended in St. Louis. Okay. All right. We are still four points ahead of Buffalo. So thankfully, Buffalo is losing at the same pace as us. Montreal has kind of fallen off here. Nine yep. points. Yeah, ten games to go. Yeah. So... Well, 14. Well, no, it's 80 games, right? Oh, it's not 84? No, it's 80 at this time. Oh, okay. They didn't go to 84 until 1992. Ah, got it. Uh, all right, suspension. McCarthy back from suspension. All right, so Real Clusi should be back soon that's really how it's pronounced in french that name it's not real it's really real yeah real yeah okay. just making sure that uh, we understand that all right dave andre chuck has a strong game three goals and an assist another guy that couldn't skate very good but uh no. was a pretty good squ goal scorer yeah i can lube lights the lamp Three goals. Wayne Gretzky, uh, 33 games with a point, just an assist. Gish Winard, 600 points in his career with a goal. Brian Bellows still continuing his streak. And Clutie is going to be back soon. FJ, I've seen the name Sidorkovic so many times, being a, kind of interested in the, in the Senators and the Whalers, that I know it by heart. I know that spelling very well. Oh God! Uh, uh, can you do the same with Paul Sechura? That guy has a <laughs> weird spelling for his last name too, like S Z C H something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'd have to look up Curtis Lechizan. I I couldn't tell you right now how his name spelled. Yeah, correctly. that's another challenging one. All right, playing at the Islanders here. Um, 36, 30, and 6 for the Isles. We're a little bit on a downswing. Uh, Buffalo is back to within two points, but we have a game on arm. So I would like to win both games here before we face the Sabres, just so that we have maybe a little bit of breathing room. FJ, I think it's L-E-S-C-H-Y-S-H-Y-N, I believe. There's a C in there. Yeah, there's a C I somewhere. Oh, the oh, Islanders. Yes. We won eight to five. Wow, we beat them! Unbelievable! Wow. Yeah, thirty-six, thirty-three for the shots for us. Uh, Peter Stashny two goals and two assists. Gude two goals and an assist. Mario Marwa two assists. Pretty good game. We, we beat them on the road. I, I that's know. that's a big win. Wow. Next game is on the road as well um, against the Waiters, I think. But this is when the Islanders started to go down a bit. So. They're still good, though. But, uh, yeah, they're still yeah. good. Oh, no question. No question. 
All right, so Luis Slager goal and two assists, so he has a nice little streak going. I mean, for a guy that plays on my second slash third mm -hmm. line, I'll take that. Larry Murphy had three goals. Cam Neely suspended. And Clutzy is about to be back. I will welcome him with open arms. All right, so we have a few days off before we are in Connecticut to play against the Hartford Waiters. Gretzky a goal and an assist. 34 straight games with a point. Rick Natra suspended. And Clutzy is ready. All right. Uh, I think I'm sending Man down. Oh wait, just yeah, I, sure. I don't. I don't disagree. Just wanted to make sure I could uh, take him off. Sometimes I, I am over anxious to get players back, and I send a player down, and the guy has to st stay two more days uh, on the injured reserve or something. Right. Oh. Uh, Sean Podin is S H J O N, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yep. Sean Podin. Yeah. It probably helps that I got him on my Sens uh, franchise last year. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian Bellows. Okay. All right. In Hartford, 34, 31, and 7. So not a. That, not that bad of a season there in Hartford. We're three and two against them, so they've given us some problems. Reggie Lemley, Greg Mellon. Ooh, six one loss on the road. We had thirty four shots, they had thirty two, so not a great game for Reggie. Uh Dave Tippett two goals and an assist. Yeah, I'm yes. just going down to one fire. That's it. Yeah, yeah, definitely somebody that doesn't know Sean Podin would uh, definitely try to spell it <laughs> a traditional way. The names I had trouble with back in the day, uh, there were a couple of guys on Quebec who, one of them named Tony Herkus, yeah. which is spelled H R K A C. And um, Stefan Moray, M O R I M O R I N. Yeah, I didn't have problems with Stefan Moray. Moray is a very common last name in Quebec. So oh, okay. That, yeah. that one wasn't a problem with, for me. But Hercus, yeah, I, as a 10 year old, I had no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, that's it. That's the game that. Uh, Oh, well, Phil Owsley and Admiral or Owsley being hurt is probably going to help us at all. I'm well behind you on the stream. Let me see if I can catch up here. Okay, we're about to play Buffalo, and I looked at their team, and they have Phil Owsley. That's not going to play it, so that's definitely helping us. Uh, we have two points more than them, and they have played one more game. And we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, you were correct. 80 games. Not that I doubted you, but uh, I just counted the games mm -hmm. here. So we have four yeah. games left here in March and then four games uh, in April. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we need to win that game. We cannot lose this game. Yeah, Reggie. This is a dogfight for the division. Yeah, Bob Silver in that for. Ugh. Lost three to one. Another loss. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm well behind you. Uh, so. Okay. Um, we outshot Buffalo thirty-four to twenty-five. So again, we you know outplayed them, but we didn't get the goaltending or the goal scoring we needed. Oh, look at that! Elder Brink that we traded to them is the first star with two assists. <laughs> oh my. Uh, uh, Cloutier did get a goal, uh, and then Lindy Ruff to assist as well. We took a one nothing lead, and then we had a bad second period. They scored all of their goals there. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be down to the wire there. Gretzky, one assist, 35 straight games. Maxim Afinogenov. 
NHL 2K6. I don't think I played that game. I have the last one that they made. That's a shame that uh, in uh, that 2K Sports stopped making the hockey games because the sim engine was a lot better than EA's. At least I, I, as far as I, I am concerned, I like to sim uh, seasons. That it was a lo lot more in depth, like the strategies you could have and everything. Alright, so Gaetan Duchesne is suspended in Washington. And Sylvain Turgeon extends his goal streak to five games with a goal. I remember playing the EA games way back when, in like the 90s, and they, they seemed to overpower the Russian players a bit, I thought. Anyway. And the Chicago Blackhawks, Jeremy Roenick with 100 mm -hmm. snapshot power. Yeah. <laughs> I will yeah. always remember that. And uh, Tatarinov with the Nordiques had a good shot, too, for mm -hmm. some reason. That's right. That's right. Good old Mikhail Tatarinov. Yeah, I had the, that's the first hockey game I ever owned. NHL PA 93, because back then it wasn't just NHL. They were, uh, it was... Yeah. Uh, from the NHL PA basically it's a, it started with yeah. 94 that it was like NHL and then a number That's right then exactly in, that in the NHL 95 uh, that was the first time you could create players so I mm -hmm. created all of my friends and put them on the Islanders because you know in 95 nobody cared about the Islanders anyway and you know I played a season and I I put myself laying on D and I finished the season with uh, like 146 assists or something wow <laughs> Yeah, but yes, uh, the first EA game was only the teams. It, it, it just used numbers for yep. the player. Yep. And then NHL's PA didn't use the team names, but they had all the player names. And then finally in 94, they got them both. Yep. Back when 93 e was... I'm sorry, go ahead. Back when uh, EA doesn't didn't have that much money, so... Yeah. Yeah. 90th, the NHL PA 93 had the blood, the fighting, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They got rid of that for 94. So, um, Yeah, the, don't get me started on NHL uh, 21 gameplay. I, I don't know if you have or not watched my Be A Pro career. I'm uh, oh my. at my uh, end's wit with it. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. Oh my, playing the Islanders, 37, 32, and 6. We just beat them not too long ago, 8-5. That was pretty good. Roland Melanson in net for the Isles. We were going with Sevigny. We need a win. We lost 5-2. Oh. oh, yeah, they played better than us, 44-24. Boutsy, yeah. uh, two goals. Trottier, two assists. Sutter, two goals. Who scored wow. for us? I think the Islanders had to remind us how good they were. Yeah, payment and Marianne Stashny scored for us. And I quote two assists. All right, we're still tied with the Buffalo Sabres, so, so they're, they're not winning. Same amount of games played, so we have, what, one game left against them? Yeah, we um, have one game left against the Habs, too. So yeah, Three goals, three assists for Gretzky. That's more the Wayne Gretzky, yep. I remember. Mm-hmm. That's a Gretzky game right there. Yeah, Six Mario, points. Mario Lemieux is a little bit uh, young. I haven't se we haven't seen him much doing much, to be honest. All right, so we're playing against the Blues. Oh, the Blues are not very good this season. Two assists for Gretzky against Hartford. All right, so St. Louis 27, 41, and 7. We're 1-1 one one against the Blues. Mike Cleot in net for the Blues. Reggie Lemelay in net for us. We need a win. Come on, guys. Put it together. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. 6-3 convincing win against the Blues. 47-20 uh, the shots for us. So all around a very good game. Goulet, two goals and two assists. Tashni, three assists. And uh, uh, Real Clutzi, two goals and an assist. There you go. That's what we want. It's a good game for the team. I think it's a bit, still a bit of an underwhelming game for Lemlin. But yeah, I know. Yeah, not the W. Uh, I 
Uh, Buffalo won as well. Who did they play against? Hartford. They beat them 4-2. All right. Mm-hmm. So down to the wire. We have four games left to win this challenge. We're tied with Buffalo. 94 points apiece. Both teams played 75, uh, 75 games. So both team has five games left. And next game is against each other right now. It's in Buffalo, too. I love it. It's just exciting. I, I'm thrilled about this. Yeah, that finish. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, even if we lose, it's uh, that's not necessarily over. Uh, Boston, Boston is not very good this season, and then we can beat Hartford yep. as well. Yep. So it's right. gonna be it's gonna be close. It's down to the wire. I love it. Yep. Oh, getting raided, huh? Well, welcome. All right, so Sivin is in net for us. We have Tom Barrasso in net for Buffalo. I would have sent uh, Lemelin in net for that important game, but Michel Bergeron is feeling different. So let's see here. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, that wasn't good. Mm. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so we lost 5-2 to two against Buffalo in that very important game. We had 35 shots, they had 31. Um, Gilbert Perrault, 3 assists. See, I should have traded him for that first round draft pick. <laughs> uh, Elder Brink again, 3 assists. The guy we traded to them has been a pain in our behind here. Yeah, he's, he's uh, sticking it to us. I know. At least we stopped seeing Tony McKegney's name all over the place. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rick Lapointe is hurt now. Oh, boy. For three months, that's over for him this season. Hey, welcome. Well, I would say home, but it's not really home. But welcome nonetheless. All right. Uh, we're going to need to recall somebody. Gretzky got an assist. So he has a million games straight with a point. Neely is back from suspension. Kevin McClellan lost his gloves. All right. We McClellan's take- a face puncher, so he doesn't really need him in anyway. I know. I mean, he's fine. <laughs> All right. So Rick LaPointe, you're going on the injured reserve. We're going to get somebody else. Um, not sure. Ooh. That's right. Okay. Oh boy, there's not a whole lot that we got on D, huh? No, there isn't. Um, maybe David Shaw's our best bet, but even then, that's pretty light. Yeah. What about that other guy? Oh, the, the Mac Renault guy that we got at random to make the trade work. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at his ratings. Oh, my. Isn't that at the level of the minor leagues, though? I mean, they're going to go uh, down once he goes to the NHL, I think. Oh, I think David Shaw's better anyway. Look at yeah. those numbers here. Yeah, he's here. better. Right, David Shaw, you're coming. I'm expecting him to be the seventh D anyway, so right. I'm not expecting him to yeah. win me this. Yeah. Rush for was scratched in the last game, I believe. Yeah. Oh, so... Oh, the Prince Albert... <laughs> okay, so... All right, a little tidbit here. So the Prince Albert uh, Raiders, so... Uh, way back when, when I had my, you know, stable job and everything before I was laid off, I, I converted a guy to Aki that didn't know anything about Aki. Where I live, there's not a lot of Aki fans. Uh, so I turned him into a Sans fan. You know, I did my job there and everything. But, uh, then the next NHL game came out and I wanted to start my be a pro, but I didn't know who to start with. So I told my friend, all right, here are the three junior leagues. You go ahead and you pick. Uh, which team I'm going to play for. Keep in mind, he knows nothing about that. So he went and looked through everything and he uh, he picked the Saskatoon Blades because he thought that Saskatoon was a funny uh, name for a city. So I was playing the... Uh, 
the Prince Albert Raiders quite a bit uh, uh, against them, and that that's the team that he had keyed on. That like, yeah, that's your bigger rivals. I want for you to destroy them and everything. But anyway, so just a just a just a little slice of life. I tend to do that sometimes. Talk about right. random stuff. Speaking of Saskatoon, uh, the Blues almost moved there back in the '80s when they had real financial problems in St. Louis. That was a big rumor that they were going to move to Saskatoon. Yeah. Uh, now we're away from Saskatoon. Cool. I'm originally from Quebec. I don't live there anymore. I live in the States. I moved here about 16 years ago. Um, I've never been in that area. Actually, I've never been west uh, of Ontario. The furthest I've been is Toronto. Um, but I've been east to New Brunswick and everything. But anyway... All right, Boston is in town now. We are two points behind Buffalo. Uh, same amount of games played. There's only ga four games left. Boston has been terrible all season. Hopefully, we can beat on them again. We lost the last one. So, oh, David Shaw playing right away, and Borie Salming is being scratched here. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, Pete Peters five fires. Reggie Lemoyne just one. Yeah, his safe percentage was at like what nine oh five at one point. It's under nine hundred now. It was up over nine ten at one point. Wow! So he's really dropped off. Oh, finally we we won a game we were supposed to win. That's good. So three to one. The Raiders did win. So game seven overtime. Were you there to watch that? Did you have season tickets for last year as well? So 35-24 for the shots in that particular game here. So pretty good uh, payment, uh, goal and an assist. Uh, I like that it's not like Goulet and Stashny that carried us in that game. I like that mm -hmm. other players uh, came in. Yep. You were there, you had forward. the season tickets as well. That's cool, that's cool. I never had season tickets. The closest thing to season tickets that I had was one of my friend that had a Montreal Expos season tickets. Even though we lived three hour, three hours away from uh, Montreal by car, obviously. So, yeah. And then Back in the day, I used to have. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, with him, we uh, we went to a game at Fenway Park too. That was pretty cool. I really, I really liked the ambiance there. It was uh, uh, the Red Sox were playing against the Rockies back when the shortly after they started to do interleague games. It was, it was a lot of fun at Fenway. I really liked that. Oh, I didn't read all of my emails. Sorry about that. Go ahead. I'm. Well, I. The closest thing I ever had to season tickets with the Kings was 10-game mini-packs that I had several years. Uh, we just I live about 40 miles away from where they used to play the Forum and probably the same distance away from Staples Center. And uh, it just, with season tickets, it just got to be a chore to go to, to, go to the rink every night. It's just too far away. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you sang with Canada at a game. Wow. So, you met Leandro Dreisaitl, and your friend's cousin is Ethan Bear. That's cool. Yeah, Canada has a way better national anthem than we do in the States. I agree. States. I envy that. I, yeah. I might be biased, but uh, my girlfriend yeah. thinks that way too, and she's American. So we're playing mm -hmm. Montreal, guys. We need a win here. We need yeah. to beat the Habs. That I this is the game. This is it right yeah, here. This that is... I hate so much. So Reggie Lamain net for us. Doug Sudart and net for the Habs. We need a W. It's in Montreal, though. Come on, Reggie. Oh yeah, seven one destroy of the wow. Montreal Canadiens. As you know me, that's going to make me happy. I do not like the Habs. <laughs> That's like winning the cup right there. <laughs> uh, big win. Well done. Yep. So 38 29 the shots. Payment had another good game. A goal and three assists. They on third two goals and two assists. And I quote a goal and an assist. 
doing pretty good here all right so we're starting to win some games is it too little too late to did yeah. fj say come on habs that's blasphemy what are you doing yeah yeah i think he's a abs fan so uh, nobody's perfect what are you gonna do <laughs> bad sportsmanship running up the score <laughs> Of course it was bad sportsmanship. We're against, against the Habs. This is the way it is. I know. And yes, the Habs are in Edmonton tonight. I hope the Oilers uh, play better than they did in the last game against them. 5-1 to one for the Habs. I didn't like to see that much. I can't stand the Oilers either. I hope they both lose. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, the Raiders are in franchise hockey manager. All the junior teams are... I was thinking of maybe picking up a junior team, but I think I like the random debut idea a little bit better. Maybe later I'm going to do start with a, a junior team. All right, so Wayne Gretzky points in 40 straight, a goal and an assist. All right, so it's down to the wire. It cannot get closer to that. We are completely tied with the Buffalo Sabres. We both have two games left to play with 98. Yep. points each and we have a uh, home and home here into back to back against the hartford whalers to decide if i beat this challenge or not well we've done everything we can i know to, we, I, we built we, a pretty solid team i'm pretty happy left with the stone team unturned so you know we'll see all right so reggie Lamley and greg millen in that last time that they faced each other greg millen won so hopefully we can beat hartford Come on, Reggie. Yes, 5-2. All right. Yeah. We're doing what we can to finish first yep. here. Uh, We're barely, handling business. That's, that's what we needed to do. Yeah, barely got the the lead here for the shots, 37-36. to 36. Louis Slager, hat-trick. Real Cloutier, two goals. Michel Goulet, two assists. Pretty good game again. Oh, my God. Okay. Are we going to do it? Slayer's right. been really tremendous this season. Oh. I'm shocked. 25 goals that's pretty good yeah that's that's incredible for a checker well done <laughs> more grit for christian Neski. <laughs> the grit is off the charts i know yep. we're like crucial gritsky am i yep. right yeah. Oh, Buffalo didn't play, so we have temporarily the lead here. So we have our destiny into our hands because Buffalo yep. still has two games to play here. So we have to win this yep. game. That's not over they by can tie any it, But we've clinched a tie, so that's good. All right. Krushil Gretzky. Oh, my. <laughs> More like Gretzky. Cool. He's the grit. Man, he's not, you know. Yeah, I don't know if Caden Gould is going to become pretty good. Didn't he have like an average World Juniors? I, I didn't think he played that great there, but I didn't watch much of the game. So that might just be my abs uh, detractor kicking in. Got a splash. Uh, yeah, I am on uh, Discord talking this way. Yeah, yeah, he joined my Discord server, so that's how, and then I've set it so that uh, we can hear him. That's cool. I haven't really met anybody famous. As far as players go, I mean, I met... I met quite a few LA Kings. I mean, Gretzky, Robotai, a few of them. Oh, but that's nice. It's just no more than an autograph, you know. Oh my God! A uh, couple of years ago, I um, I had a girl for a roommate where I live before I met my girlfriend and everything. And she went to a random. She doesn't know anything about hockey. She's from Brazil. Um, and she went to a random hockey game in Dallas with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was a pretty big hockey hockey fan. And he was like, I'm going to bring you to one hockey game so you can experience that. They go to a random game in Dallas and Wayne Gretzky was there and they got to meet him. <laughs> wow. She got to meet Wayne Gretzky. She goes to one hockey game in her life. She gets to yeah. uh, meet Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, Buffalo tied their last game. 3-3 uh, against Toronto. Yeah. So if well, we Clint win... Yep. 
If we win, yep. we clinch. So we need a. We big clinch a tie effort. with a tie. So there you go. All right, come on. We can beat Steve Weeks, and then oh, we have Richard Savigny in net. Come on. Come on, we need a big game. Come on, Michel Goulet, score me five goals. Be a sport. Oh, we lost two to one. Oh my! Oh so my! A win by Buffalo, and it's over. I don't know who did. There play. is overtime. Got a splash. There is overtime in the regular season. Yeah, we're in the. It's the Quebec Nordiques Challenge. We're in 1985. So back then there were ties. Ties were uh, taken out of the game in. It was with the lockout in 2005, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Not a big fan of removing the tie, but it wasn't my call. Yeah, it wasn't mine either. Somehow Gary Bettman forgot to contact me. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have my number either. What's going on? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, and back then also in the 80s... Uh, Overtime was still five minutes, but it was five on five, so it wasn't three yes. on three like yes. right now. So they were playing an extra five minutes at full strength. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it doesn't matter anymore that the, that Smith is injured. Well, it it does for the playoffs, but for the challenge yes. itself, it doesn't really yes. matter. All right. So, how's your voice holding up? Do you want to do the playoffs? Or yeah, I will. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm doing better. It hasn't been ge getting as cold lately over here. That's what kills me. Like what you know, sometimes in the, during the night it drops to 21, and then the next day it's 56. That that just Ouch. kills me. Yeah, that just kills me. <laughs> oh, well, if Buffalo wins. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We didn't beat the challenge because we tied with Buffalo for the for oh the my gosh. division lead. That's crazy. Oh my! We don't get credit for it, even though we tied. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh my goodness! If we don't, that's that's a shame. I know. Really. All right, let's do the playoffs, and you know, <sighs> see if we can win the cup at least to console ourselves. We work so hard. We. <laughs> I know. That's you unbelievable. Did, you a did tie. all of that. Of all things, a tie. That's you just... did all of that recon work and everything. We just couldn't keep Stasny's from getting injured for months. We just couldn't do it. We lost Peter the first time. Yeah. And then we lost Anton. We sure did. All right. Jimmy Man, you're getting 48 again like last time. You didn't care. You don't care now. All right. We're going to be heading to the playoffs at the very least. Um, yep. I, I'm not going to read that. I don't really care. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. For my I don't read the nominees YouTube. either. I just wait till the award show. So, Oh, look at that. The bitter rivals facing each other in the first round. Oh, my. It's going to end up with Ed's being cut off or something. The Battle of Quebec. Oh, my goodness. I know. Here we go. Uh, Ali, what is... Uh, Oh, I don't remember how it's called in English. What's the Friday before Easter? Oh, you're talking about the game where they yeah. fought yes. all game. Let me hang on, hang on. <laughs> yeah, if I'm sure you want for the Canadians to win, so yeah, Good Friday. That's it. Thank you. You had a Good Friday game between yes. the Quebec Nordiques and the Montreal Canadiens that ended up a like a circus. Still, yes. nothing. Still didn't beat the. For the longest time, and I think it still holds the record in the league for the most penalty minutes in a single game was that game between the Sens and the Flyers. The Good Friday Massacre. Yep. That's what it was called. Yes, it was. Doug Soutart in net for Montreal. We're going with Richard Sevigny. Oh my god, I guess that Michel Bergeron had enough of uh, Reggie Lemelin. He's starting Sevigny in net for the playoffs. And it starts with a 5 4 loss. Oh my god, who's the hero for Montreal? Bobby Smith scored in overtime. 13 seconds in. Yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not working overtime. I'm not paid for that shit. I'm going wow. home. <laughs> oh, well, wow. Seven year had a poor game. We should have won that one, but yeah. it didn't happen. Rick Sealing has a memorable game for Buffalo. 
All right, there was no stopping Greg Gilbert. Four goals. Randy Carlisle has a memorable game as well. Yeah, in uh, I think it was in two thousand in March of two thousand and three, the Sens and Flyers combined for the most penalty minutes in a single game in the NHL. By the end of, by by the end of the game, there were only three guys on the ice for each team, and maybe three or four guys left on the bench for each team. That was crazy. Oh, all right. So we're playing Montreal again. FJ must be happy. The Abs won the first game. So Doug Sutart in it again. We're going with wow, Sivin again. Day again. Wow. All right. And we lost in overtime again, 3-2. Wow. Oh, wow. my goodness. That's I have flashbacks from 1993 with the yep. Abs winning in overtime yep. all the time. Yeah, this is Larry Robinson. not starting well. Yeah, Larry Robinson scored in overtime this time. Danny Briere, yeah, he had some really good seasons. Took him a few years to so, oh, yeah, see his hurt too. Yeah, we're starting to have a few injuries here. No. Out for seven days, I'm not gonna send him down for that. No, no. Are we gonna get swept by the, the Habs? I hope not. Oh, well, it's best of five, too. Yeah, we're down to the last rights here. Yep. Sitting in that again. What, what's gotten into wow. Bergeron to start Rogichal Sivigny in that? Oh, now no, that's a win. <laughs> well, thank you for <laughs> at least giving my content some consideration there. All right. Well, so Sotart had a terrible game. He we yeah, so let we him won up. here. 39-29. Bruce Bell had a good game. Marian Stashny had a good game. Peter Stashny had a good game. Anton Stashny is still hurt. So he couldn't join the fun with his brothers. Alright, we're still in it. We're still in it. Alright, win or go home, right? Yeah, I'm almost too too nervous to talk right now. It's <laughs> nerve-wracking. All right, so Sivini Nets to uh, Steve Penning's coming in for the Habs. And it's over. We lost ah. 3 to 2. Oh my. Well, well we tried. So I'm gonna sim to it to the end to see if we get credit for beating that. Uh, but you know, I'm thinking since we're not like first, that maybe it won't. Yeah. All right. So Montreal advances. I'm just very confused that they didn't start Lemlin in any of the games. That's surprising. I. Right. Didn't expect that. Yeah, that kind of sucked. That's um, where me being the coach would have probably helped. Yep. Yep. I think so, too. Yeah, but... I, I mean, didn't. he was struggling. He was struggling down the stretch, but he was still the number one guy, so... So, challenge failed. I failed my challenge. Wow. <laughs> I don't have abs emotes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are the Habs emotes there? Hopefully banned from Twitch. Oh, Mike Buss is going to miss three weeks. I'm going to look at the... Oh, Gretzky is our... I'll tell you his day today. I'm going to look at the playoff three years. See what it looks like. So, Montreal is playing Buffalo. Auto... Yeah. Edmonton swept Winnipeg. And the Islanders swept the Flyers. Montreal. Wow, the Kings got swept out too. Ah, ah figures. <laughs> they oh, drew the cool. Oilers in the first round, so that's instant death. Yeah, that's probably where you're like, you know, you're probably like, yep. okay, we have to pretend like we believe in our chances. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yep. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh my. Doesn't matter anymore. We're done. Yeah. He's on the brink of returning to what? I don't know. He's returning though. Put me in. Put put you in what? Yeah. Walks in the door to the rink. It, nobody's here. Guys, I'm ready. Put me in. Yeah. To what? Do I put want you in, in where? Uh... All right. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, Probably gonna go with Stack. Rick Martin. I Maybe. think I would vote for. Um, Maybe stack house. Uh, I think Martin was part of the French connection, so yeah, there's that. All right. So is it over? Uh, that is that round over. Buffalo avenged us, I guess. No, Detroit uh, and uh, Chicago are still going at it. Oh, Detroit had that terrible uh, season, and they're about to yeah. go to the to the conference finals. Unbelievable! Wow. Jack O'Callan hurt for nine months. Is that over? Yeah, look at that. They get the. Pleasure of being destroyed, getting destroyed right. by the uh, Edmonton Oilers. How on earth does Detroit get into the conference finals? I and, don't know. Wow. Some luck, maybe. Unbelievable. Yeah. Pat Lafontaine lights the lamp. Four goals for the Islanders. 20 years old, Pat Lafontaine. I take a 20 year old uh, Pat Lafontaine when I do my random debut. Yeah, definitely. I'm also going to uh, set it so that uh, the game engine makes the development and not recalc, so that we might get some surprises. Okay. So that uh, that makes things a little bit more random and fun. Otherwise, we all know, you know, that Pat Lafontaine, starting in at around 32 or so, is going to start declining. Just as a random example. Yeah, FJ, he was fantastic. He really was. Great player. Yeah, he was. Uh, one of my... He was the favorite player for one of my friends in Canada. That was his favorite player. And yeah, uh, when the Buffalo Sabres, back when they had Pat Lafontaine, played uh, Montreal in the playoffs and they were about to sweep them, he, uh, him and his cousin tried to get at the forum in Montreal with giant brooms, you know, the, the giant janitor brooms and everything, and they wouldn't let them in because it was considered a weapon. <clears throat> Well, it looks like we're having Islanders at Edmonton again. So, yeah, you know. some uh, some things are going as uh, as they should, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Edmonton won, and <laughs> Edmonton has not lost a single game in the playoffs so far. <laughs> They're wow. making it as easy as they can. I believe Edmonton beat Philly this particular year in the finals. I think. I think that's how it went. All right, so Islanders against the Oilers in the finals. Sure, go for your Leafs chant. Oh, the Islanders won the first game. Yeah, look at that, 2 nothing. Who's their number one with Billy Smith? With uh, New Jersey, I think Melanson would yeah, be their number I one. I think that's a. I think that's it. I think it's Ronald Melanson. Wow. Kitty Rudy and Ronald Melanson. Yeah. I don't know who they're starting. Oh, Edmonton uh, came back and won the second game, so it's tied at one. Oh, <laughs> Louis Slager is injured. What did you do? He fell out of bed? I yeah. mean, what did he do? Knee soreness. I mean, what the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, my. 
Oh, the Islanders won uh, game three. They're up two to one here against the Oilers. Oh, Oilers won four nothing. Surrey side at two. Oh, and Menton took the lead three two in the series. Stanley Cup Finals. I think they're gonna yeah, wrap they this up. Yeah, in six. Yep. All right. Well, so that's not a surprise. No, Edmonton mm, winning at all. Not surprised there at all either. Do I have to go until July first or something? When does the the challenge end? I'm not sure. We say I, I haven't done a challenge on FHM seven yet, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah. All right. Let's see. All right, so FJ's chant. One, two, three, four. How many first-round exits do we have in store? Five, six, seven. This team is filling me with despair and depression. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We haven't won shite since 67. Let's go, Toronto. Yeah, there's a lot of accuracy in there. Mm. Yeah. It's not, he's not wrong, so, you know. Yeah, it looks like I might have to go until July 1st. I'm so glad Anton Stastny can play if we need him. Yeah, I know, right? Does my heart w good. Yeah. Well, maybe there's going to be a World Cup soon. Yeah, right. Uh, we should go into the Hall of Fame. I guess that bomb can go. That guy can go. Yeah, Esposito, Rattel, yeah. Lemaire, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, Ted Lindsay. Yeah, yeah. Ted Lindsay for sure, for sure. And I'm going to say Lemaire. Yep, looks good. All right. Oh, I'm glad to know you're ready, Anton. I like your dedication to the team. You're even dedicated when we do not play. Do we get nominated for the Jack Adams or the GM of the year? Something like probably, that? Probably not. Oh, okay. I don't well, know. Well, the Tiger would be nominated if, for the Adams. We didn't head yeah, coach. Yeah, we didn't coach. In this, I'm only doing it in Tampa B, reluc reluctantly. <laughs> well, you said you were enjoying that aspect of it, though. So you, uh, I... To a certain degree, I like to have the control over it, but like uh, changing sore thumbs, you know, uh, for three games, every other yeah. game is a uh, is a little annoying. It's it's not that hard nowadays because if you change the role, it is changing the tendencies of the player. I don't think it was doing that before, so. Uh, all right, so let's see who wins what. So Ted Lindsay went to Wayne Gretzky, Art Ross, Wayne Gretzky, Maurice Richard, and Mike Bussey. Lady Bing to Joe Mullen, Masterton to Mike Milbury. Mark Messi Leadership Award to Mike Milbury. And Andy Moog got the Jennings. Hart to Wayne Gretzky, 165 points. Wayne Gretzky with the soul patch. Yeah, well I know. Done. Wayne Gretzky's 165 points. A little bit of a down season with 165 yeah. points. He underachieved. I know. Hulk <laughs> Fee, the best. Uh, the, oh, the County Smite. I was like, how did yeah. he get? Uh, how did he get the Norris with 26 points? And how did Paul Coffey only get 26 points? But yeah, yeah. that was a County Smite. Calder goes to Mario Lemieux, 104 points. That's a Norris no to Paul Coffey, 121 points. That's not good for Gretzky at that time. That's yeah. that's underachievement. It is. He scored 208 that season in real life, so he was well below. We got hey, our guy won the Selkie. Yeah, I know. We got we won something. Look at that, Alain Cote. Pelly Lindbergh won the Vizina. Yeah, Max McNabb, GM of the Year with the New Jersey Devils. Back when they wore green and red. Yeah, and Glenn Sater, co the Jack Adams oh, with 61. Come on. 
a trained dog could coach the Edmonton o- I know, Oilers right? to a Stanley Cup. What's the deal? Like, come on. All right, so... Okay, I'm going to just go through that. just want to see... A... Curry won the plus-minus award. Didn't yeah, see that. I went through that real quick. I'm trying to figure out if I beat the challenge at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Where's our payoff? <laughs> yeah, Morris Filial Name Rangers top spot. Uh, I'm yeah. sure McKechnie did much better for the Oilers than he yeah, did for the I'm pretty sure for us. Too. We we played him on the fourth line or the Tiger did, so you know. He wasn't going to do much for us. Yeah, he went almost a point per game with uh, Edmonton. 25 points in 27 yeah. games. And 18 points in 42 games for us. Yeah, yeah they played he, him a lot more. Look at that. We were playing yeah. him 12 minutes a game. They played him six more minutes a game. So, yeah. actually, that was a good trade for them. It looks like he was a it good sure compliment. Yep. They sure, got, they sure did well with that. Team, the team still practices in June? Okay, all right. Yep. Sure, sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ready for team practice. Which team? We do not know. I know, right? Ahead of schedule. Challenge What's failed. Schedule? Oh. Ah, you guys yeah, are cheap. Circle challenge. This is, this is a, a blasphemy. This is a mockery. <sighs> That's disheartening. We did very well. And I know. We exact got the same record. Result. Yeah. But Buffalo did score six more goals than us. They gave up 17 more. We had a better differential. Yep. I don't know how they got it over us. I don't know. Maybe head to head? Yeah. That we... I don't know what the tiebreaker was in uh, yeah. 1985. I don't either. Uh, yeah, press F to pay respects. Definitely. Uh, I don't know how they were head to head against us. I don't even know how to look it up. Yeah, I don't either. Um, the schedule, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we can look at the schedule. Yeah. Game per game, I suppose. That was preseason, regular season. We won. If this were me, I would do this all, all over again right away. I, I wouldn't be able to live with this result. That's <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Okay, we're one and two there. All right. No, that, try one's, to that one is preseason here. Oh, that's preseason. Yeah, that okay. one is preseason. So yeah. it starts here. So one and one. Okay. All right. Uh, we didn't play them in November. All right, one and two, two and two. Right, two and two. Three and two for us. Four and two for us. Oh, we won this. We won this. Four <sighs> three four four. It did it. Did it end up a tie, really? It did, so then I think it went to the goals four. I think that's the other tiebreaker. Oh, my God. <laughs> so How? they scored, what, I... six more goals than us, and uh, the challenge failed. All right. That so. is... Yeah, that's we couldn't have gotten any more close than we did, really. Yep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream here. We failed the challenge, uh, although we were tied. I mean, it couldn't be uh, tighter than that. So uh, yeah. there's going to be more streams from me. Hopefully that doesn't drop next time. It's been pretty stable after that I rebooted everything. So hopefully it was just a glitch in the matrix. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... What day works for you for uh, trying to uh, do the random debut there? Well, Monday and Wednesday are those are usually the best days. Um, so, all right, you want to do this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday? Uh, yeah, if you're up for it. I mean, somewhere around maybe uh, 
to your time. We'll start at noon, my time again. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. So FJ okay. and uh, the others, if you want to join, you're welcome. So I'm Central Time, so to my time is 3 Eastern, or if you're on the West Coast, that's uh 12 p.m so on wednesday i'm gonna start a random debut so we're probably not gonna play many games uh doing the draft is probably gonna take a while uh, but that's the time so if you want to join you're more than welcome uh, for today that's gonna be it too so disappointment all over the board we put a really good team together and we just couldn't clinch the adams uh division there so as usual, I'm going to upload the results of that on my YouTube channel, so you can also look there. I have more uh, Franchise IQ Manager content. I enjoy doing that, and I hope to do more, and thank you for being here. All right, so... Yeah, well, thank you, FJ. Day. Thank you, Splash. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Yep, it was. All right, I am stopping here. God bless, or something. <laughs>